everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you a super easy one pan green chili chicken dip. It is super cheesy, really low in carb and absolutely delicious. I love having this in the summertime and you can either have this as a dip or it can be an entire meal you know, as your main dish with like a side of cauliflower rice or something like that, whatever you wanna have as a side for this. Now, this is a keto friendly recipe, but of course you don't have to be keto to enjoy this recipe. It is so delicious and it's gonna become one of your favorite go-to one pan meals. First thing we're gonna do is I am gonna actually make my chips. Now, I don't buy chips, I'm keto, so I don't buy anything that's, you know, any chip from the grocery store. What I do is I use the Mission Zero Carb Tortillas, and I like to fry them. Now, I did this in my chilaquiles recipe, so if you haven't seen that video, make sure to head over there. I'll link it in the description below as well. But I'm gonna show this again, how I do the chips right here. I buy, again, the Mission Zero Carb Tortillas, and what I'm gonna do next is I am going to heat a, a deep skillet. I'm gonna heat it on medium low heat. And I like to use avocado oil. You can use whatever kind of neutral oil you want. I just prefer avocado and I love the one by Primal Kitchen. I'm gonna pour it into my pan. And now let your oil heat up. My oil is nice and hot. I'm gonna take the tortilla that I cut up into quarters and I am gonna throw this into the pan. And now you can make tortilla chips like this with any kind of tortilla. So if you don't like the low carb one or you know, you're know you not low carb, you can use any kind of regular tortilla and then you have fresh, nice and hot tortilla chips. And I'm gonna press these tortillas down a little bit so they're fully coated in the oil and we're gonna let this fry until it is nice and golden. It's gonna be about a minute on each side. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, our chips are nice and golden. We can now take them out and we're gonna just put them on this cooling rack to let the oil drain. Let's take our next set of tortillas and we're just gonna repeat this process. The next set of tortillas are cooking. Right when you take out these chips, you wanna take some salt and just lightly cover them in salt. The dish of course will have salt in it, but we just want our chips to have a little bit of flavor, otherwise they're just too plain. You don't have to do that, that's just my preference. And now we're gonna do this for the remainder of the chips. My chips are done, so I've set them aside. We can start working on the dip itself. So I have an iron skillet here in front of me and I'm heating it on medium, medium low heat. It's nice and hot now, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to throw in a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna let this melt. I'm just gonna put it all over the pan like this. And now let's throw in chopped um, jalapenos. These are fresh chopped jalapenos. And freshly chopped, well, minced garlic. We're gonna saute this for about 30 seconds, one minute, just until it gets fragrant. This is such an easy recipe. You just throw all these ingredients in here and it will be so delicious, so creamy, and so cheesy. You're gonna love making this, especially as a dip. I love having this in the summertime as a dip with these chips. But like I said, you can also make this dish and you can have it as a side. You can have it along with mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower, cauliflower rice whatever you want. I've also done where I put them into like a taco and you have like a cheesy chicken taco. It is just, this is one of my favorite things to make. Now my garlic and jalapeno are nice and fragrant. 
I'm gonna now add the other ingredients. So next thing I'm going to add is I am gonna add some almond milk. Now this is a keto recipe. So if you, do, or if you just don't like almond milk, you can completely omit the almond milk. You can do regular like 2% or whole milk, whatever you want. I'm adding in some heavy cream, some cream cheese, This is canned green chilies. Again, like I said, I'll include all of my measurements in the description below. Now this is some chili powder. Onion powder. Cumin. And I am going to let this heat up and whisk all of these ingredients together. I've used a whisk just to carefully break up the cream cheese and I'm just gonna use a wooden spatula to keep mixing all this together until it all combines. I'm now going to add in some shredded cheddar cheese. I'm using a mild cheddar, but you can use like sharp cheddar or whatever kind of cheddar you like. We're gonna let this melt in as well. We're just slowly mixing. Our cheese is starting to get nice and melty. The reason I like using the almond milk is it's a really mild flavor and it also keeps the calorie count a lot lower for this dish. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna use whole milk or 2% instead of using almond milk. I also wouldn't suggest using another alternative milk. So I wouldn't use like cashew milk or anything like that. I would stay away from those. I think they have way too much flavor and it's really overpowering if you use it for this dish. And you really can't even taste the almond milk. There's so much flavor in this that the almond milk, I know it sounds strange in this dish, but it really works, trust me on it. Our cheese is now melted and well incorporated with all of the remainder ingredients. So I am now gonna add in some shredded chicken. Now, you can either make the chicken yourself. I just bought a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store you know, no flavor added, just a regular rotisserie chicken, and I shredded all the meat myself. And so that's what I'm gonna add to our pan. As you can see, it's starting to simmer now, which is the perfect time to add our chicken. And you don't want this chicken to be hot. You want it to be room temperature, or even straight out of the fridge is perfectly fine. I like a combination of a little bit of larger chunks, and then really finely shredded chunks. And this is one whole rotisserie chicken. You can also take off the skin if you want, but I just love the skin of rotisserie chicken. It adds so much flavor to this dish. So I would keep it on. All right, I'm just going to carefully mix in the chicken into this sauce. So it's fully coated and evenly spread out on the pan. This is also a really good high protein dish. So if you're looking something that's moderate in calorie, high protein, really satisfying and delicious, this is the perfect dish for you. Okay, the chicken is fully coated, combined with the sauce. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in some extra cheddar on top, just evenly on top like this. And I didn't shred this cheese myself, of course you can shred it, but I just bought pre-shredded because we're trying to keep this really, really easy. This whole dish takes less than 15 minutes to make. So if you're looking for something like really easy, you come home from work and you need a really easy dinner to make, this is super, super simple, less than 15 minutes. High protein, moderate in calorie, really low in carb, and like I said, I, I don't know how many times I can say it, it is absolutely delicious, especially if you love cheesiness, chicken, oh my God, it's just, and it already just smells so, so good. Now I've spread this cheese out. I have my heat on medium low heat, and we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. You don't have to touch it, you don't have to move it, just step away, 
Watch it so it doesn't bubble over, obviously. But I'll see you guys at the very end after 10 minutes. All right, guys, take a look at our delicious dip. After it cooked for 10 minutes, I let it sit for about five minutes just to let it set, let the simmering stop. And I like to top this with some chopped green onion. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just throw a little bit on top. Gives it a nice pop of color. And I like how refreshing the green onion is. All right, and now the most important part is the taste test. Let's take a nice, ooh, so steamy and delicious. Let's throw that right on top of our chip. A Little bit of green onion on top. Cheers. Mm. Wow, it is so flavorful, so delicious, not too spicy at all. You guys know I typically like it really, really spicy, but the combination of the cheesiness with the chicken really balances out the jalapenos and chilies. You really, really don't taste the spiciness too much. Of course, if you wanna make it more spicy, you can add some hot sauce to this, add some red chili pepper flakes to this, to give it a nice kick. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe and enjoy it in the summertime. Honestly, enjoy it any season. But this one pan meal will be your new favorite dish to make. Creamy, cheesy, high in protein, low in carb, and absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell to never miss a tasty upload. Till next time.